All right, and today we're going to be doing another Lord of Seek Light challenge. And the challenge that we're going to be doing today is going to be called uh, Dark Eyes. So with this challenge, for the most part, we're supposed to do... Oh, well, I must write, write my script, Python 3, uh, dark underscore i dot pi. So it's going to run my script. Uh, I'm going to explain this challenge. So with this challenge, for the most part, same thing as always. It's not, it's going to be a blind SQL injection, but this time we won't be able to see our output for the most part, but we could see is the error, but this time the error is not showing on our end. It just exits out immediately. So I guess if we try putting a valid statement, it prints out the query, but if we try putting a statement that's not valid. For example, like something like this. It, it leaves it blank so i guess that's going to be our indicator if it's true or not if it's a true statement we're going to be able to see it being printed out and if it's not true nothing's going to, is going to get printed out at all or like something that's not a valid statement is not going to get printed out so that gives us a little bit of a hint what to look for for our responses so i guess the big question is how do we solve this challenge so we're going to be doing the exact same thing we've been doing first we're going to close off the the i guess whatever we have and then we'll just do a simple or id is equal to admin and after that like we usually do and after that what we'll do next is just do an add and this is where things start getting uh i guess a little bit interesting and this is where we put everything inside up parentheses and then we'll just do select one and then we'll just do union select and then right here this is where we're gonna put our uh, our statement that's gonna return true or not we'll do length of pwn is equal to whatever size we want it to and then we'll just do percentage 23 so I guess you're asking yourselves how does this this work for the most part and that's why I have this SQL test right here so let's check out this SQL test and I'll just zoom this in so right here we have select ID from SQL test A, which is the database right here, SQL test A, and where ID is equal to one, this is just a, 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 a valid a valid value right here, ID is equal to one. Uh, we, yeah, right here, ID is equal to one, first name John, and first name, we have it empty, so we know this query is not gonna be able to run, so it's gonna run this next part. So what we're doing right now is we're selecting ID is equal to one. And then we'll get and we'll take off this not for now and select one and union select one for the most part. If we do uh, like, let's say the initial value of our loop is the length is one. If we run this, we sh we're going to get an error. So if we run this query, excuse equal, we get subset returns more than one row. So what does this mean for the most part? So I went on another site and went on C SQL fiddle. And I tested it out right here. If you see right here, I have select one and select one does not equal two because uh, we know that this is not going to return true because the first name, the length of it is going to return uh, one, two, three, four, and four is not equal to one. Oh, it's just, just, we can just do that. Four, four is equal to one. So if we do something like this in the sub query that we have uh, right here, What's going to happen is that run SQL, executing SQL, and when, it's, and when it executed, it returned 1 and 0. Why is that? Because it selected a 1, which is this, and then 0, being that this is false, and it combined them into 1. And it's two different rows, if you see right here. And you see right here, we get subquery returns more than one row. So this subquery returns two different rows. So what happens if we put them equal to each other? So if we make this statement true so if we make this statement true for the most part it's only going to return one row and that one row is basically one and if you know what one is is true one programming the value of true is considered one so what happens right here is that we change the length of first name right now it's like what uh four so we change this to four and if we run it, uh, execute SQL, it's going to return one. Reason being is that since this, we know this is false, 
and then or id is equal to one and this is just going to return one so this basically is uh if i do this id is equal to one and one and we know that id equal to one and one is signify as true and we know id is equal to one does exist inside this query so it's basically just returning true and true which is a true statement and it's going to run the query that's basically what's happening so technically if we just simply turn this to a not this should not even run at all because it's gonna the not of a one is a zero so this that we should get it should just return nothing so if we just try it won't even return an error i'm pretty sure it's just gonna return uh it's not gonna even uh, execute it so if we execute it it returns false so nothing pops out because uh since this statement is id is equal to one and the second part of it is false that means that the query doesn't run at all the second the second half because we know this is automatically false but what this is doing it's gonna return as id equals to one and false and we know that's just gonna be false in general so both of these statements are gonna be false and it's not gonna return it at all nothing we could do is just technically if we want we just probably do something like length of a, what first name is equal to like five to that so right here now it's gonna be false but now it's gonna turn as true so if you run this it there should be no error at all and all right excuse you oh returns more than one query on oh, never mind yeah, yeah that was dumb on my hand but if we do something like um yeah yeah anyway yeah i guess that's what i wanted to show for the most part was that uh it's the whole point behind uh behind this error behind this so i think if we put eight right here it should yeah so see it returned since this popped out that means that this was a valid statement so that means the length of pwn is actually equal to eight so that means that we just need to like i guess highlight one of these values so like if we see um, i think in my script i have it that if we see this value inside the response that means it's a true so technically what we so technically what we're going to be doing is just be uh, using this statement for the most part and just changing length of pwn of this with like one two three four you know etc and we'll just change this with like what substring but in my case i think i use mid because it was already written in my program and we just did or just to get the exact value so we did something like this or and then we did something like uh oh yeah i think i keep that first name and then like the position is the one that we're just brute forcing so we're starting at position one then we only want the, that that position and then just the uh, random value that we're brute forcing for the most part so if you go back to my script again we see that it's, it ran through everything and we get the final password so i think if we just get cat uh dark i dot pi if you do something like that we see oh I'll just do back cat at cats so if we i think we see right here my script being ran this is my i guess php session id we see or id is equal to admin select one union select length of poem we're proof forcing the the password the size of the password and so we if we see the hello admin response but well, and hello ha admin returns probably dark eyes which is part of the query response right here and then later on we did the exact same thing, but we select, we change it out with this part, which is just checking for the substring if it exists or not, and if it does, and we see the, I guess the, the, the hello admin, which is dark guy. If we see this, it adds it on to our uh, password, and at the end we just break off, of, break out of it once we reach the the length of our password, and that's basically uh, what we do for the most part this challenge and then if you see right here we got the password so if i just copy this then we just put put it right here pw is equal to uh, then we get dark eyes clear so yeah that was about it for the most part for this challenge just understanding i guess what this returns so if we run this this is just going to return a one in which it's going to make our this statement true and id is equal to one which is true 
Or and if we, and if we do the other way, where it just returns this, it's not that it returns false, but it's just that it um it returns two subqueries. It returns one and zero, which is an error on this end because it only it's only expecting one. So yeah, that was about it for this challenge. Hope you guys learned something new today, and yeah, peace.